What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. We've had some dark times. Ooh, we have had some dark times, but I think we know what timeline we're in now, and it might just be the one where this all works out because, oh boy, yep. I mean, if you saw it, it was a seven and a half hour stream over there on a film threat. Uh, but we have our new president, Mr. 47, Mr. 47. Uh, and so that means while the course correction happens in our government and other areas, the course correction in pop culture now can go into overdrive because we've been seeing some of it. We've been seeing some course correction. Unfortunately, this also means the other side is absolutely going to lose their shit. They're going to go bad. It's, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad, but don't worry. We can handle it. Uh, this is the last remnants. This is the last remnants. So here is former Sweet Baby Inc. I'm a professional. Former Sweet Baby Inc. employee confirming that the company is doubling down on woke agenda. Now, it does say former, so grain of salt, but this is Grant Roberts, a former employee, of course, of Sweet Baby Inc., uh, who is now the narrative director and associate studio director at Longdo. And this is how they work, right? A lot of people get hired out of by design, and then you have a Sweet Baby Inc. loyalist uh, in all your companies, basically, to one degree or another. Uh, making it clear along with other members of this, the Cameron Wilds and Kim Blairs and others that they're not going anywhere. They're doubling down. And while they might have lost or at least hidden their connection to the Powell Group, uh, they're still making the rounds. So Roberts, who worked as a narrative director for a year and a half, told The Gamer, of course they did, the developers are still working with the company that Backlash will not stop the company's agenda. First, stating that companies are not pulling their support uh, from Sweet Baby Inc. Even though we saw them separating and removing people from their client list and back and forth, he says, when it really reached its apex, when Elon Musk was tweeting about us, uh, correctly stating that DEI kills art, companies were reaching out to us privately and showing support. Nobody was pulling that support. Uh huh. Thank you for telling us that. By the way, we already basically knew that, or the fact that even if you left, those companies were already corrupted with ideology, woke mind virus as it may be. Uh, but thank you for the confirmation. I think the reason we've had more support privately than publicly is because they know it's bad shit. Uh, it's because when people do speak up publicly, we knew they were opening themselves up to attacks. Much like the attacks that Sweet Baby Inc. levied against Kabutis Rambo, the starter of the Steam curation list. And then, uh, of course, later on, DEI detected. Very important website going on to declare that he, of course, lamenting really uh, that more people didn't speak out though. He says, what I personally would have liked to see is that more institutions uh, saying that this is wrong, that this is happening, that people are being targeted in this way. I agree. The targeting of Cabrutus was ridiculous. Uh, the Sweet Baby Inc. Isn't, isn't just a DEI company, but you are. Uh, or a company that makes things more woke, but you do make things more woke. Uh, I don't care if you can add writing and punch-ups. Your writing and your punch-ups are all flavored in wokeness. They all insert gender ideology there's no sap uh, substantive writing there uh yeah um it would have been nice to see more people and in institutions learn the lessons of 10 years ago they did learn the lessons of 10 years ago which is why they're not coming out to defend your nuttery the only reason they're going to you for work i mean aside from the people that are already corrupted the people at the top that just uh, they're going along with it uh it's because they have to it's because that's what the money was and that's where the money was telling them to go uh thus the forced check boxes that kill art that Elon pointed out multiple times and that the Moon uh, Studio CEO Thomas Mahler has pointed out and that Matthew Karch over there at Saber has pointed out everyone that's fucking pointed out anyway. Oh boy, I hope you, all these people right now are dying and melting down right now, so don't worry about it. Um, when he left Sweet Baby in October, he informed the gamer that he would go back. I would go back to work at Sweet Baby in a heartbeat. I would hire Sweet Baby in a heartbeat and therein is the rub. They hire people out. Then those people get hired at studios and it's this big, which is fine. That's how networking and all that shit works. The difference is, is there's an ideology and a mind virus attached to all of that. They don't care about actually making games good. They care about making games ideologically balanced. And by that, I mean their ideology balanced through of make sure we get this and this and this. fuck all the straight white people. Uh, that, that's you, you had your time. But yeah, it's. And we've seen this reflected in all of their releases. Uh, this is the great. Declaring that Sweet Baby's woke agenda is inevitable. Oh, I can't wait. I would have to be a fly on the wall when he saw the election results. The world is the way it is now. These games are more inclusive people. Games are more authentic. 
ironically, the games at Sweet Baby Inc. are not, they're not more authentic and they're not more inclusive. They're actually exclusive. They don't really make it authentic because, again, as I always point out, what the fuck do a bunch of Canadians know about American black culture? I'll give you an answer. That much. What they've seen in Boys to the Hood, TV shows and movies they've watched. That's what they know. Yeah. Um, I'm blacker than Kim Belair. There you go. Grew up in the ghetto in Southern California. All my friends black. First girlfriend's black. All the TV shows. I read Jet Magazine when I was eight. So I'm blacker than Kim Belair. Uh, and so no matter what these do, people, they're not going to stop us. And yet we have stopped you. We've stopped you so much that you now have to hide your associations with other companies. Uh, and they certainly have to hide uh, yours. And you had to redo your website. Uh, your name is mud and no amount of positive ad campaigns, uh, reformation campaigns you go on is going to help. Um, again, then he goes on to try to do the, uh, the same gross obfuscation uh, as he's done before. Where he says one of the most frust frustrating things about the events over the last year and a half is just the incredible level of misunderstanding, both deliberate and assisted. It's not how it works. That's not what we do. We didn't put pride flags in Spider-Man 2. This is all, this has been all over the internet. It's all out there. We didn't make Saga Black and Alan Wake 2, even though uh, the director is, uh, the Alan Wake 2 director is on record saying that uh, they didn't quite know what to do with Saga before going through it with Sweet Baby Inks, Kim Belair. Um, Look, even if they didn't push the button on all of these things, they were certainly in the room when it happened. And I will go to my grave believing, uh, believing that uh, Saga went from just being a background NPC in the game to a substantial NPC uh, in the game to then a full-blown 50% of the gameplay character in the game and then a full-blown 50% of the game playing the character and a light-skinned black woman of sexual dubious ambiguity whatever you get my sense uh, this is the Kimbler insert that was sweet baby ink that was sweet baby ink and probably making her 50% of the game but it goes down to the same rub they think we don't know what they do I would suggest we know exactly what they do and as pointed out here uh Kim Belair and uh, the Cameron Wilds have said exactly what they do including and up to taking uh, as you can see she said here below i mean for, i'll give it verbatim for the fun if you're creative working in triple a as i did for many years put this stuff up to your higher ups and if they don't see the value and what you're asking for when you ask for consultants when you ask for research go have a coffee with a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give what uh, give you what you want this is the same threat that was labeled to uh levied rather against black myth wukong who said go fuck yourselves uh and they've sold over 20 million units of black myth wukong as opposed to the last sweet baby uh, game which didn't even have uh what was it 100 people in game for uh death? anyway pain Pain, cope, and suffering, and that is all they are going to have for a while. Meanwhile, we can enjoy the sweet, sweet delights of victory and the realization that this, the country is not insane. We just let insane people, uh, we let their voices uh, get a little too loud. People like this. I almost used the F word. And then... Hi, Vader! <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. We let all of them talk for far too long and so now it's time to return to sanity so be sure to like share and sub if you have done that thank you if you're gonna do that thank you and let's go well bye